Hello everyone, today we will take a look at Web Application Scanning, a new component of F5 Distributed Cloud. We will go over its main features and watch a short demo. The two main challenges Web Application Scanning helps solve are the difficulty of establishing an inventory of exposed assets and the logistic burden of securing large-scale application portfolios. Web application scanning does this by enabling users to easily discover critical information like which is the scope of our application portfolio, which APIs are exposed publicly, and what are the vulnerabilities we need to fix. Inventory discovery is the first step in securing your application portfolio, as you can only secure what you know. Web application scanning creates accurate and complete application and API inventories in a highly automated fashion with its Recon module. It only needs a domain name to start building your application and API inventory. The second challenge in securing your applications is finding the vulnerabilities your applications might have. And this is a very resource intensive process unfeasible for large portfolios, especially when authentication is required. The web application scanning module responsible for discovering your application and API vulnerabilities is SCAN, a highly automated process that makes it feasible to test large scale portfolios, especially in a recurrent scheduled mode. Let's have a look at the interface. We can see here the recon module its dashboard displaying a list of domains and a list of discovered assets such as network address blocks, servers and services. We will start our inventory discovery by adding the domain and specify subdomain discovery, but we will turn off automated service scanning as we will manually select the service to scan. Once the scan has finished, you can see the Discover Inventory group by network address block, by server software, and by service. We can choose to export our inventory at this point. The Recon module already detected some possible issues, such as dangling CNAME records. We can export these issues for further analysis but we can also initiate a deeper vulnerability scan for a number of selected services. We will go back to the services view of the inventory, select one of the services and create a new scan. This will prompt the scan module to look for service specific vulnerabilities and also perform API discovery. We can check the status of this scan by going to the scan module and click on the application that was automatically created. Once the scan has finished, you will notice the dashboard displays an overall security score as well as found issues grouped by severity in tabular or graphical format. We also have a test report that pulls together all the information collected but before we go there, let's take a look at the issues found. You can see the detailed sections giving extra information on mapping each issue, each status, and a more detailed description along with the recommended mitigation. You can also check the explanations provided by a generative AI assistant, which gives more context around this issue. The scan module also discovered the API endpoints used by your application, and these are shown along with other details, such as the request response pair and number of occurrences. Going back to the scan report, you can see the OAS top 10 vulnerabilities mapping, along with the same list of issues we've seen before, but what should be highlighted here is the video recording of the actions taken by the scan module, a very useful feature for audit purposes. You can also generate a full report in a customizable PDF format, allowing you to easily present the test results depending on the audience.
We've now reached the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention.